Okay, let's talk about a phrase that's going to help us figure out which quadrant an angle is going to reside in based on trigonometric functions and whether they're going to be positive or negative. So all students take calculus. This goes along with the quadrants, first, second, third, and fourth. And in the first quadrant, all of our trigonometric functions are going to be positive. So that's why we have all. For the rest of the quadrants, what we do is we base it on the first letter for each one of these words. So students take calculus. For students, this is going to be when sine and its reciprocal, cosecant, those are both going to be positive in the second quadrant. Tangent and cotangent are both going to be positive in the third quadrant, and cosine and secant will be positive in the fourth quadrant. All right, so let's use this to uh, determine which quadrant sine of theta is going to be positive but tangent of theta is going to be negative, less than zero. So when we take a look at this, what we're going to do is sine is going to be positive in both the first and the second quadrants. Tangent is going to be negative. Um, it's positive in the first and third, so it's going to be negative in the second and fourth. What we have in common between these two is the second quadrant, so that's going to be our answer. Same idea on the next one. We have cosine of theta is gonna be positive greater than zero in the first and the fourth quadrants. And we're looking for when is sine gonna be negative less than zero? Well, it's positive in the first and second quadrants. So in the third and fourth quadrants, it's gonna be negative. Therefore, what we have in common here is gonna be the fourth quadrant is where theta is gonna be located. All right, next up, we have tangent is going to be positive greater than zero in both the first and third quadrants. And a little bit of a sideways one, we have a secant is less than zero. So this isn't um, the second quadrant, because remember, we're, when we look at those first letters, that's going to be sine, cosine, and tangent that we're focused on. Secant, recall, is one over cosine the reciprocal identity. So if cosine is less than zero, well, cosine's positive in the first and fourth, so it's gonna be negative less than zero in the second and third. So what we have in common between these two, theta is gonna be in the third quadrant for that example. And one last one here, we have cosecant, which is one over sine, is gonna be positive. Well, sine is positive in the first and second quadrants. And tangent, when is that going to be positive? Well, first and third quadrants. What we have in common here is the first quadrant where everything's positive. So all students take calculus. This is a nice phrase that's going to help us remember when things are going to be positive, which quadrant, and help us locate which quadrant the angle is going to be in. All right, hope this helps. Good luck to you on these.